Meanwhile, Nagaki and I are fighting the Hydra here. Fighting for our lives with a physically revolting incarnation of the king. The king should b b become, become one with us. No, thank you. <laughs> it's no, it's no good. He isn't getting hurt at all. I thought he'd die if we hit him enough, but I don't feel like we're doing any damage at all. If only I'd brought a halberd or something, or if, if like, Meta Knight flew in with the halberd. There's definitely something wrong if he's completely unfazed by your punches, Miss Cullen. It's not like they're doing nothing, though. He just recovers very quickly. Who gave this chump a regen buff? Yeah, jeez. What do we do, Nagaki? Perhaps it'd be best to wait for Master Sakazaki. Maybe we could just blow him up? <laughs> Did we think of that? Or expl explode him? Maybe so, but I'm getting awfully tired of the king's incessant invitations. Yeah, if, he, if he'd at least shot up, it wouldn't be that bad. Couldn't I take him out if I bypassed his regeneration by throwing all my hunter-gatherer strength into a single attack? Yeah, but then you won't have any hunter-gatherer strength for the, in case it doesn't work. Oh my god. I'm saving, sorry, I'm saving. Because I don't know what I should do. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go- This is like so unprofessional. You ca I call myself a professional, well no I don't. I should. Um... Go for it, jeez, why not? Say your prayers, Mr. King. <laughs> Carved into your soul, King. I'll decide this in one blow. Were you listening to me, Miss Cullen? Don't worry, Nagaki. If I can hit him, I can kill him. Oh my god, I think it was a good idea that I saved. Come to me, O spirits of my proud step hunter ancestors. Am I going to be like the Scythian in um, Super Sword and Sorcery? My blood burns with the flames of the sun. Grant me a single strike to split the crust of the earth itself. Secret technique, burning Aminoshiki kick! I did it! He definitely felt that, Miss Cullen. Err, uh, my leg is stuck in what? Is he like Clayface? Or he's like Homer Simpson, like Smithers' hand is like stuck inside him or something. We, we are together now. Did I die? Happily, yeah, I died. <laughs> well, I guess I was right to save. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's try listening to the dead guy. I should play it safe for now until my friends arrive. Nagahi's right, we probably can't get through with force alone. We'll have to buy time and wait for backup. Even though that was cool, that was like I was absorbed by Clayface. M making cracks is bad. Look out. Nagaki, are you okay? He's a dead guy. It doesn't matter. He's dead. Even if he doesn't wake up, it doesn't matter because he's dead. What about the one little jewel that he took from the planisphere? Is that not going to be the crux of the whole thing? We're running out of time, I think, for that being the crux of the whole thing. Yeah, na yeah, he's his natural enemy because he's a soul, and Bart's soul, and Mom's soul, and anyone else's soul. I'm slowing you down, Miss Cullen. At least if we split up, I wouldn't be in your way. Don't worry about it. We need you to burn the lighthouse, after all. I'll protect you, Nagaki. Miss Cullen. Oh, I got hit bad, boss. This king is really is a nasty man, battling the hair... Bat bashing the heroine of a dating sim around like that? Yeah, we're... You're not going to be my hashful boyfriend anyway when treating me like this. The king's... Not in all my days and travels as a hunter-gatherer have I fought a creature like this, but even so, I need to get Nagaki past him somehow, even if it means sacrificing myself. Hey, wait, Nagaki, what are you doing? While I was reading on the floor from the last attack, Nagaki got up and placed himself between me and the king. Can, Nag can the king even hurt Nagaki? Maybe he can't, because Nagaki is like, is like the crystallized, distilled concept of sacrifice is what he is, for the sake of others. You're pushing yourself too hard, Miss Cullen. It won't be enough for me to go on alone. I'll send you home safe, Miss Cullen, to reality, to the school, because you have a future. Nagaki should die in a fire. No, you should. That's a, that's a terrible thing. Don't say that to people. 
The king slowly draws closer to Nagiki. He's gotten heavier and heaps sprouting more heads. There's no way Nagiki could take a hit from him. Your Majesty, please don't hurt Miss Cullen anymore. Oh, here's this like cool music again. You must not. You must not go. Nagaki. Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> Wait a second, San? Oko San? Why does Oko San have like fucking Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence, as his like entrance music or something? Oh my god, this is like really cool. It's like says you're grooving this for a while. Coo coo, the interfering Okosan arrives coolly. Okosan, did you seriously just make a joke? And a good one at that. Oh my god, this music is so cool. Once again, like way better than the first game. Okosan, dashing out of nowhere, sweeps Nagiki up in his wings and skids into the corner, sparks flying from his claw. Oh my god, like how fast was he going? I'm dizzy, you really are quite fast. Coo coo, what did you expect? Okosan's legs are pure muscly gold. P poor, poor Okosan, here runs and runs, but he will never find anything. Coo coo, spare us this foolishness. Yeah, he's a god. He actually is the incarnation of a god, lest we forget. True pudding does exist somewhere in the world. Okosan will run until he finds real pudding in the real world. That's it. Like the. He was body slam on the king. It has a 30% chance of paralysis. It's super effective, even though that's a normal type move and can't be super effective. Um, let's just like skid past that one. Wait, no! Fall in different direction. I need to get out of the way, but my legs are still. Harry, grab my wing! Great! Of all the people I could be depending on to save me. Oh, great! Here's Sakuya. He'll save today. What a careless lout you are! Hold on tight. I don't mind him insulting me, we kind of have this whole kind of thing going on where we insult each other. Ryota, Sakuya, sorry we took so long Harry, but I was in a slump. Yeah, it took, like, Sakuya, we saved him in like all two seconds. Ryota, we had to, it was like pulling teeth, trying to get him to see sense. Are you okay? Never been better. You're practically in tatters. I expected better than this from my underlings. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not your underling or your mercenary or anything, Sakuya. If anything, you're my bitch, as we found out like in the storyline where you became my boyfriend. Ah, ah, but even if you go back, the, the world will only keep hurting you. You are right, sir. There are two birds in my heart, and it's painful. Sometimes I think I'm going to tear apart from the inside, but that pain is another one of the memories I've held so dear all this time. I can't... Ryota, stop turning this into the Ryota show. Like, this isn't the Lana Winter special or whatever. I just can't surrender it up to someone else. Like, get out of here! Like, stop talking! Stop talking! <laughs> I was watching this episode of Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares today where they were in Baltimore and there were these two ladies and they had like the cutest like little accents and they were just like mmm, 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 mmm. like every time they talked it just sounded like mmm, 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 and it just sounded so adorable I don't know where all if all little old ladies who come from Baltimore have that kind of an accent but it sounded really cute I don't care if I don't know what tomorrow will bring. I want to go back to the real world and live into the future with everyone until I die. Have you no shame, you pathetic being? You call yourself a king, but you are as limp and weak as a boiled frog leg. You fear contact with others. You comfort yourself by forcing everyone into the same mindset as yourself, you despicable coward. A king's duty is not to indulge in sloth and indolence. The future will come, yes, and we do not know what tragedies it may bring, but a king's duty is to stand proudly forth and to do battle with them. You see, like, Sakuya, like, what he said was far more entertaining than what Ryota said, so he's allowed to talk. Yeah, see, even, Sa even like, Okosan is like, Sakuya is cool, Ryota's, Ryota's and drools. Indeed. <laughs> Concise as ever, Nagaki. Sakuya would be a way better king than you. <laughs> She's like, what is this? Like, why are we all of a sudden, like, electing Sakuya to be king of the universe? Like, but of course. 
Sakuya, don't let your guard down. Yeah, don't forget, your hubris is your Achilles heel. How dare you strike at me while I am speaking, you cad. Are, are you okay? Did he get you? Uh, uh. <laughs> Do I even have to say it? Do I even have to say it? Miru and Kaku will take care of all your scrapes and bumps with a wink and a twink and a ho 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 and a twink ho and a ho that's a twink and a twink that's a ho. A familiar pair of white abominations tumble across the room and begin administering an emergency care to Sakuya. <laughs> it's not like I asked for this or anything. Don't worry, Sakuya, we still think you're cool. Um, can I borrow that first aid kit for a minute? No! <laughs> Are you okay, Harry? I'm great! I knew you'd be here, Ryota. Thank you. Yeah, let's help each other get out of here. Wish you and Nagiki and everyone. Even though Nagiki's a ghost, so it doesn't matter. The, the king does not understand. Oko-san, look out! He's coming from above. How is he coming from above? Can he fly? Cool, cool. Oh my god, the two of them are here now? That ungainly dance of yours is hardly something to show in front of a lady, your highness. Um, tell me what's happening. Things have gotten a bit strange, haven't they? I knew you'd show up looking like a hero, you, yeah? Yeah, you're going all like, what's that thing that that, that the one cockatiel says all the time? Like something, like something, whatever. So, Hitori was alright, good. Yeah, it's great, whatever. You're late, Sakazaki. Been off gallivanting around while the rest of us fight, have you? Do forgive me, dear brother. I was looking for somebody and I was unfortunately delayed. Even though it didn't take too long, like, thanks be to Christ, it wasn't Ryosha he was looking for. That's sad, Sak. Let's get this idealist king to step aside so we can get at the magic lantern he's hiding behind his throne. Yeah, geez, like, can we just get, get this over with already? Like, we're surely we'll be able to take him on. Why don't we get, like, like, um, Tori and, like, Tori Amos and Lawan BJ, or whatever his name, or JB to come in here, or Rabu, or Azami, or even Mr. Uchihara. Wow, he's even more of a berserker than I am. I think we're going to win this. I don't. Watch out, someone's gotten angry. Yeah, he's, like, going into pissy boss mode. He's going into beast mode. The rampaging Okus and heroic Yuya have gained the upper hand. Or have they? The king is still trashing around an awful lot. Just a little more and we can win. Just one more? One more? Of course, I knew I'd forgotten something. We're still a bird short. Yeah, where's Angel? Oh no. <laughs> I keep thinking about Angel and they keep like going back to this idiot. I'm like, screw him. All he is is John Travolta from American Crime Story. Fascinating. A fine work indeed. Each one possesses a physical tangibility indistinguishable from the real thing. I am quite curious about this. How does he produce such a convincing illusion in multiple brains all at once? How has he gathered these experiences and memories together? And how does he project them into the minds of his visitors? I certainly hope there is a better answer than magic. Oh my god, who's this? You all by yourself? Oh, that's the migrant. You look like you found something neat. Mind if I have a look? Hmm. Ah, oh, I see. So this place, that is to say, it seems that individual memories may resurface and manifest by themselves. Huh? I'm over here, kiddo. Or were you talking to the floor? Well, obviously- Yeah, because isn't this, like, Ryota's dad? And obviously Shu would remember him since they were colleagues and everything. Pay it no mind. More importantly, why did you come here? I saw a faint light while I was wandering through the halls, and it led me here. Yeah, d does he seriously have nothing better to do than just wander around doing fuck all? His name is Shu. I do not have any name to give you. What's with the scary face? Did I say something wrong? Yes, yes you did. You are a migrant. Why do you need to know your name when you will soon be wandering off again? Jeez, oh, I'm sorry I asked. Like, you don't have to be such a little prick about it, like. Well, I do wander a lot, but that doesn't mean I can't make friends, does it? Don't mind me, then. Go make some. Aw, oh, come on. I mean, but... I've got something to talk to you about. 
I'm sorry, did it look like I could make good conversation? What a terrible pity. Oh my, where's he gone? Like, so doesn't he live here? Geez, you're all grown up, but you still can't sit still long enough for me to finish a sentence. What did you say? Don't talk as if you know me, old man. You no longer know anything, do you? Ah, I knew it. Yeah, see, he knew that he knew that he knew that he knew. But I thought I remembered this scent. Hey, listen, you were my friend, right? You must be joking. No, nothing of the sort. Funny, isn't it? I made all sorts of excuses, but I suppose I waited here, hoping someone would get confused and end up here. <laughs> Let us consider each other to be complete strangers. How does that sound? Oh, that's too bad. Migrants like myself never remember anything for long. <laughs> no, that's not because you're a migrant, it's just because you're dumb. And obviously the apple doesn't fall far from the tree because your son is dumb as well. This is unfair and I object. Now I know this is awfully sudden, but... Leaving already, and what were you just complaining about me for? I don't get this conversation, like where it's going. Yeah, we're trying to crack the- oh well, this is what he's going to do, he's going to emotionally blackmail them. Blackmail them because he's going to be like, oh well, if it helps him, then I'll help. <laughs> I don't even have enough breath left to sigh, I hardly have enough energy left to not move my lips like John Travolta in American Crime Story. Won't you? Yes, I suppose I'm tired of wasting time obsessing over the past. So is he actually going to help us now? <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> Death blow, barbarian uppercut. I thought with all that excitement earlier we'd taken the advantage, but now it doesn't look that way at all. It would be nice if we could open up just enough of a gap for me to make it through to the tower on my own. I don't think that'll be easy, he has way too many heads. Yeah, he's like, because he can attack all of us at once. If only the Fluffetic was here, he can outcheat anyone, no matter how many heads they have. Yeah, seeing as he outcheated all of us at the same time. Yeah, and he could use his like little cleaver and chop all his heads off and kill it. Ah, he's completely taken the upper hand. Head, that is. Help us, Dr. Awamine! Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. There's no need to shout, I'm right behind you. How did he get here so quickly? Did he, like, chop all his heads off? Oh my god, he threw something chemical-looking at the king. It smells extremely unhealthy. I knew you'd come true, Doctor, and with heroic timing, too. What did he throw at him? Yeah, this is just, like, the way he, like, stole Yuya's thunder the last time with the Miro and Kaku thing or whatever. Looks like you stole my thunder again. Don't act as if you could compare to Dr. Owamine, Monk. Oh, he still has like that whole like hero worship thing. I think I'm going to sneeze. What was that, sir? Something not unlike what I put in the tranquilizer gun I used for collecting life samples back home. So, anesthetics? It confuses the target's gait and paralyzes the central nervous system for a few minutes. Heretical, indeed. Well, this is perfect because it'll give. Yeah, I was just gonna say, it'll give Nagaki a chance to get through there. Wah! 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 <laughs> Sounds like that baby Winnie the Pooh. Wah! <laughs> you weren't heretical enough, Doctor. It was developed with earthly creatures in mind. It seems it is not so effective here. Okasan will use wing attack. Leave it to us. Well, it should be enough for us to just, like, get back the... Take back the advantage and let Nagaki slip through. We'll keep him occupied so Harry and Nagaki can head past the throne. And go sit on the throne. I'll, I'll go sit on the throne while Nagaki does all the work. And then I'll flush. <laughs> to, to let him know that I'm finished. If what the migrant said is right, you're the only one who can break us out of here. Go on, do your stuff and do it well. Right. Thank you, everyone. I'm not even sure where the videos are or how long each video is at this stage.